Okay, so what is color and how does it work? Color is... Color is... Color is... I honestly have no idea how color works. Color is one of the great catalysts in nature. Color is... Color is just... Color is, in a way, a gift. The visual property of objects. Just one element of the essence of something. An object's color is the frequency of light that it chooses not to absorb when light hits it. The reflection or emission of light. That imparts hues as a direct result of light hitting an object and reflecting back to the eye. A blue object will say, yeah, let me take this red, this yellow, this green, and this violet, but this blue light, that's for you, my friend. It's a vibration in a wave-like particle. You'll be getting different values depending on how light passes through an object or how much of uh, how much light is absorbed by something. I don't know. Color to me is an abstract. It shows us what we think something actually is, but in reality, it isn't. Color is I guess our brain's way of differentiating different visual signals perceived differently by different people i guess what happens when light reaches our our retinas light in its most essential is a wave electromagnetic radiation striking the rods in our eyes translated by our visual cortex and perceived by us color emerges through the variations of wavelength most famously illustrated by the uniform colors found in a rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Yet with perception comes interpretation. Human emotions too come in varying shades and intensity, filtered through the tinted glass of contrast, context, and connection. Our lives become the prism through which color shifts into something tangible. Color becomes information. It can gather a history, crystallize in our memory, and explode into magic. Light and color become an all-encompassing tool through which we experience and share our humanity. Color is actually ourselves like such an integral part of my reality color is the association of emotions and feelings with my lived experience it is a visual indicator to express emotions to organize things the subjects were colors history was blue math was red science was green english was white everyone has unique experiences with it it can identify a mood it can signal the time of day Maybe it becomes a part of your personality. Color works for me. To communicate in ways that are easier than verbalizing them. Feeling, direction. Emotions, it invokes memories and ideas. Everything that we see is covered with this interpretation. The colors we choose to put in our homes and in our clothing is... A constant in my environment. One of the purest forms of self-expression. You know, if they're going to have a colorful moment, then let's create some bright reds and some bright pinks. Another form of the creative experience. But if it wasn't there, it would be such a huge loss. Color is a huge part of my daily life and I love to look at it and I love to see it every day. And uh, it's my everything.
I think my favorite color right now is that really warm glow that happens when the sun is about to set, but hasn't set yet. My favorite color happens in the morning, either right before sunrise or just after. My favorite color is the color of the lake I grew up on when it would freeze over during the winter time. The sky reflecting off an infinity pole. Usually in the opposite direction of where the sun is rising. That very beautiful, almost soft, spectral transition between like a uh, darker sky and where the sun is in the horizon. Springtime. I don't know. I don't know how to answer the question. Sorry. <laughs> the sun is reflecting off of mountains or a forest or something. And it wasn't quite any color. Just bits and pieces of all kinds of colors, complete with small white lines everywhere, little cracks and imperfections. To me, it's driving down the highway in northern Arizona after a summer storm. There's a light fog or um, dense air layer. Uh, <laughs> the cool mist that coats the city at the end of a long day. The clouds after a monsoon. There's a softness to it. There's a warmth to it. And something about that color is really romantic. Human need to connect. We developed language as a way to identify, codify, and communicate with each other everything that we know and feel, from the general to the minutia. But every moment we inhabit is a multi-sensory feast, a cornucopia of stimuli, internal and external, percolating and disappearing all at once and all the time. So, naturally, language fails us. Any attempt to exactly and succinctly describe a moment in a single word becomes a fool's errand. Our need to convey these infinite freeze frames with insufficient tools begets the overlap of our senses and the impossible combinations in our mind. Sounds become places, scents become people, and abstract concepts with no corporeal form can take on textures, shapes, and colors in our attempts to relate what they are, in our efforts to be understood. My favorite color is a comfortable love. I remember the color of my mom's skin. Alive. So warm and comfortable. And comforting. And so beautiful. It's how I feel knowing I'm loved and cared for by those most important to me. A love for life it makes you kind of realize like, hey, not everything is bad. But it really reminds me like uh, uh, I was in Vietnam of my family. I think of home. Specifically my uncles. From their chucks to their socks, dickies, shirts, hats. And last but certainly not least, that perfect old crew neck sweatshirt, you know? Expansive, but... Maybe the sweatpants to match. The type of warmth you feel when you've just woken up. There's an aspect of it that's found in the cycles of... The way a rich, grassy field soothes your eyes on a sunny day. It's in daffodils who bloom without warrant. The color of seagrass. Flower petals falling from a tree. The edge of the sea overlapping the golden sand on the beach. It's forget-me-nots who are easy to overlook. Deep, but bright. And memories of being outside in grade school and running around. Right as the sun starts to set, before the sky has started to deepen its hues. Memories. <laughs> it's a grain applied to the world, almost as if looking at it through a window. It's one of those kind of colors. It really puts you at peace and puts you in perspective. Something that can remind you how beautiful it can be. I don't know how that makes sense.
Okay, so I had an idea. I'm trying again for this question. I think I see the full range, although a lot of people, including Alex, argue that I am am colorblind. 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 At the same time, variations in color can be found in all sources. In my experience and in my environment, color, strangely enough, is muted. Muted. Muted for me. I have color behind this. Tiny cells that are all the way back there, I think they're called cones and neurons, detect light and help our brains to perceive colors on the the visible light spectrum. With all the specialized cells and structures required for our body and our senses to function, it is inevitable that imperfections arise. With color blindness, the layers in our eyes are distinguished between different wavelengths. Red, 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 orange, red, 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 yellow, green, green blue, 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 blue,